Dave, do you find me attractive? Yeah, of course I do. Would you say that I'm just as attractive as all the women that you work with all day? I'd see her twice as attractive. Are you patronizing me? Of course I am. Yesterday, Melanie Wells had a normal job. Yes, I understand that your number's unlisted, but we have no control over the numbers that we get. I'll see that you're put on our don't call list. We got a don't call list? Of course not. Yesterday, Melanie Wells had normal problems. What'd I do wrong, officer? Failed to signal on the last turn. Oh, come on, Code Jack. What'd they do, close down your favorite donut shop? Yesterday, Melanie had a normal relationship with her boyfriend. Does he say he loves you? What do you think? I ain't never heard him. Oh, so he has to say it in front of you for it to be valid. Oh, come on, Mel. I mean, haven't you noticed how white men treat white women differently? Her white boyfriends dump her for white women, so naturally, being representative of my race, she rags on me. Dave treats all women the same. If some gorgeous blonde bimbo came jiggling her way up to him, he'd cling to her like boogers under the table. I love you. <laughs> Yesterday, she had no reason to doubt him. But tomorrow, she'll have every reason to doubt her own sanity. You're obviously having some kind of an acid flashback. It's me, Tess. I'm Melanie. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit is this? I'm just as baffled as you are. I went out to dinner last night with Dave. I didn't feel well. I came home and went to bed and I woke up this morning and I'm Heather Locklear. And what exactly is wrong with your skin, dear? It's white. I'm a little confused. What did you say your name was? Um... Uh, uh, Snow. Ivory Snow. Pleased to meet you, Miss Snow. I know my face may not seem familiar to you. And it's the most perfect face I've ever it's seen. It's just that... What do you mean, most perfect? I thought he was out with you. He was with me! But he didn't know that. Technically, he was with somebody else. Well, what did he say when you finally told him who you were? You did tell him who you were, didn't you? Would you even be interested in me if I wasn't this blonde Barbie doll bimbo type? You know, Ivory, I wish you weren't so hung up on your looks. I already told you you're perfect. And what about your girlfriend? Is she perfect too? She's almost perfect. She's a blonde like me, is she? No, she's dark. Hello? Yeah, I'm looking for Ivory Snow. Her name doesn't seem to be on the index. There's no one here with that name. Melanie? What are you doing here? It's three in the morning. I really need to see you. What do you want? Melanie, I love you. Isn't that what you always wanted to hear? What happened to the Barbie doll you've been going out with all week? You bastard! Of course he's gonna want the black you after the white you dumped him. He pursued Melanie, not Ivory. You honestly believe he loves you or Ivory? Melanie, that's the one he came back to. You know, I don't know why you're gonna let him back in your life after the way he treated you. You're just jealous. You and Melanie can both go to hell. We don't need you. The way I look, I can get any man like that. You know what, Tess? We're not equal. We can't be. Well, I think you prefer yourself this way. White, black, I'm still me. Well, I don't know who you are anymore. You just want me because I'm gorgeous and white. Admit it. You are so full of yourself, it's incredibly sickening. Nigga, you take a long, hard look into those blue eyes of yours, and you ask yourself if you don't like yourself better now, too. Yesterday, she was a black beauty. Today, she's a blonde bombshell. I'll tell you what, Miss Wells. You promise not to jaywalk again, and I'll let you and your friend go today with just a warning.
Melanie Wells is having one serious change of life. <laughs>